I just wanted to tell you right now to pause the video, go down in the comments. We're going to dyno the white truck today. So what I want you to do, I would like you to put down your guess of what horsepower and what torque the truck made before you even get to it. No cheating. So what do you guys think that our 10.6 truck at 127 mile an hour did on the dyno? All right, on with the video. Hey guys, what's going on? So it's a beautiful day. It's about noon. We're going to head down to the Cecil County Fairgrounds. They're having some kind of a diesel event. Um, sled pulling, some tractor pulling, apparently diesel pickups, maybe some semis, but they're also supposed to have a dyno. Um, we're kind of leaving a little late. I think the dyno opened at like 9 o'clock. Um, we're, you know, like I said, it's noon. It'll probably be about 1 o'clock till we get there. But mate, we're going to take the white truck and hey, if we get a chance to get on the dyno, maybe we'll see what this thing's going to make. Um, you guys can put your predictions down in the comments. Um, like I said, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get on the dyno or not. But we'll give her a sh uh, give her a try if we can. So I want to change the transmission tuning first, and I have the drag radial still in the back. So I'm going to move Caitlin out of the way, and then we will change our transmission tuning, get the drag radials out of the truck while it warms up. already I'm gonna go to hit up the local car wash since I'm in a rush and as you can see the back of the truck is actually fucking filthy um, now last night I did remove the badges on this side of the truck and I don't know if you guys can tell but there is some di discoloration here where it's uh, a little dark or a little yellowed but I took that one badge off and I'll be honest I started to make a video about it and I really wasn't feeling it it's kind of tired of all that shit so I just got that one badge off, but look forward to seeing the rest of this shit coming off, or at least the 4x4 and the Ram 2500 heavy duty badge. So let's get to their car wash, get this thing cleaned up, and then we'll get down to Cecil County Fairgrounds.
gonna put the truck on the dyno and see what she'll do. I got the uh, the CSP5 switch turned all the way to fuck up. See what she does. Doesn't look like a thousand horsepower truck, does it? I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked about the thousand. I kind of was thinking that we'd probably be around in the 950 area, was my guess. Um, I did turn the CSP5 switch all the way up, so we're running the hottest tune we had, and uh, definitely surprised a few people there as well. Um, I mean, you see this pool in the diner, and you're kind of like, all right, what's this guy doing, all this? And, there was one guy uh, in the in a Ford that was parked there. He definitely didn't realize it was going to do what it did because uh, left the windows open on his Ford. He had to go close them real quick. But um, it was a nice event. They actually have the sled pools going on now. I chose to leave. Um, just kind of a long day. Really, there weren't that many trucks that dynoed. Um, there was two trucks that were a higher horsepower than me. Both were in the 1300s. A, I believe it's a 6.7 Ford and a Dodge, and I'm not sure what's done to the Dodge. It's a twin turbo truck, but uh, yeah, so needless to say, I'm stoked, and the truck got its first trophy. So the guy with the 1300 horse Dodge, he got the trophy for highest horsepower truck, period. So that left me with the highest horsepower Dodge. Really, I got second place technically, but since they kind of put that as everybody and then me, we got a trophy. That's all that matters. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a lot more with this truck, but I don't know. But we did have some issues. So here's our dyno graph. As you can see, the first run was the best at 1,002 horsepower and 1,520 foot-pound of torque. Then we went down to 930. We lost 70 horsepower in the second pool, and on the third pool, 883. We lost a, uh, from our first to our third pool, we lost... Um, 115 horse so the only thing that I could come up with and there was a couple guys I knew there uh, my transmission builder was there and what we're thinking is it was just getting hot that uh, and I had talked to somebody previously messaged back and forth with them talking about maybe putting a bigger exhaust housing on this we have a 90 a 0.9 housing switching up to a 1.0 or a 1.1 housing the spool will probably be the same but to keep things cooler it might actually make us some horsepower but i'm looking at that and maybe we'll get a blanket for the turbo so i another thing i probably need i need to install the switches for the fans that probably didn't help 
you know, the truck would have waited till it got hot to turn the electric fans on. So if we turn them on when we're doing that, maybe it'll stay a little cooler. Not that the truck actually got hot, but you know, just cool everything down. And I do have that piece coming for the top. Um, the It's called the upper radiator seal in case any of you are looking for that. And I'll show you the part number when I get it. So that with the electric fans on probably would have helped a little bit, but hey, we made four digits, which, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about it. I was really happy. The guy asked me on the third run, before the third run, if I wanted to spray it, you know, get the bottle out and ghetto fog the nitrous, and I, I told him no. And after seeing this, you know, if we would have ghetto fogged it, we're already down 115 horse, it probably wouldn't have made much difference. So I'm glad that I didn't do it. Don't get me wrong, I was tempted. I mean, I was ah, fuck it, one run, you know. But, uh, yeah. The bottom end would not like that. It would not appreciate it at all. It would probably make a little window. At least that would be a, po a strong possibility. So the truck, uh, yeah, it performed on the dyno well. As you can see on the graph, our power, peak power is coming in about 3,500 uh, RPM. And if you look at this, 35 or 3,600 RPM. So that's good. And when we go to the track and we adjust our shift points, we were shifting around 3,500 I think if we move them to the four grand, it'll drop down and we'll actually be back to the flatter part of this arc. So I think that in the lower gearing, changing those shift points will help us at the track. So that leads us to an issue. On the way home, I stopped at a buddy's house and you know I did a burnout when I left there because he's giving me shit about, you know, thousand horse truck, 10 seconds. He says he's never seen me fry the tires. I said, are you fucking kidding me? I'll, it'll fry tires in 60. Needless to say, a burnout was not. I'm not saying that did anything, but I drove the whole way home and I was still a little happy and uh, riled up. So I, 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 I'll be honest, I was driving like an asshole and uh, turned onto my road and something didn't feel right coming up the drive. You know, it was fine and I stopped and started again. So I'm thinking second gear is slipping in the transmission. Now that can probably be fixed by adjusting the band. I don't know. I will probably wait till Monday and talk to my transmission guy. And maybe I'll even drop the pan in the meantime. Just check it out. Make sure, you know, there's nothing going on that I can see. Because it, how the band applies, if I remember right, there's a, a servo that get, hydraulically gets, you know, gets fluid. It pushes down and then that pushes on an arm which latches the band around the drum. So we'll look at that. Yeah, I'll probably drop the fluid now. I'll, you know what? As soon as I get done with you guys, I'm going to... I'm gonna drain the fluid out of it since it's hot. We'll get it out. And then I can also look at the fluid. And yeah, we'll look and see, hey, maybe maybe that thing bent or something like that. I mean, I think it's a billet piece in there, but I'm not, sh well, it should be. It should be a billet piece. But yeah, so that's the only issue. And second gear is not a big deal. Um, like I said, it, the band could, you know, just need to be adjusted and all that kind of stuff. But if it was like drive or something like that, you know, first gear, then it would be definitely something serious. I'm not too concerned about it. You know, a band's not, I've never had a problem with that before, but needless to say, it is a problem we're gonna have to dive into later. So maybe that'll be what we do tomorrow is pull the pan and just inspect everything, see what we see. So I'm rambling, I'm excited. We got a 10 second, thousand horsepower truck. Pretty fucking cool. And uh, if you guys want to build this truck, just start at video number one and work your way up. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the dyno with the truck and uh, hope you stop back for the next video. And if you like this and want to see more of it, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, get out in the garage, get to working on your truck.